All right, oil change on a 2017 second gen Q7. This is a three liter. It's actually very easy. Hardest part is knowing what basically bits you need to remove certain things. I'll show you that real quick. This is what I used to remove the oil filter housing, a 36 millimeter socket. I have a 10 inch extension. You could use pliers or an adjustable wrench funnel obviously and then for the t-bits grab yourself a t25 a t30 and then a t45 here's the kit i got from ecs tuning part numbers there 74 bucks comes with seven liters of oil um the oil filter new plug crush uh, washer and the uh, o-ring for the oil filter housing i believe the three liter calls for 7.2 liters of oil so seven with residual in there it's always been perfect for me phillips screwdriver a pick i'm using a one quarter inch socket for my bits you know you could alternatively use something like this creeper Here's the, uh, the engine tray splash pad. I use, because of this, I use ramps instead of a jack. These are removed from with a Phillips. They've got a little washer on the back, which is nice because they stay on there. Once you remove that, the oil pan plug which I've got the new one on there already. It's right there, that's that T45. Drain your oil when it's hot. It's kind of annoying that pulls straight down, it splashes a lot, throw a rag in your oil pan, then come up on top. The, remove your engine cover, it just pops off. Kind of, I've got mine loose already, but it's simple. Just little tabs here tabs in your air filter housing it's a good time to look at that and replace it if it needs it there's a denso part number i got it on amazon use your 36 millimeter wrench or socket on that housing there that plastic black housing i already have it loose i'll pull that off show you the that looks like looks like other Volkswagen Auto Group filter housings looks like BMW housings so pop your filter out use your pick remove that o-ring put your new ones on there put it back on lower the car I'd fill it with maybe six and a half liters of oil and then to reset the oil, turn it to on. Go to menu. Click in menu down here. Go to vehicle. Then service and checks, service intervals. See, I'm doing this. They recommend it every 10,800, I guess. I'm doing it at about five, maybe a little more. Reset oil change interval. I also put a go to old fashioned little reminder up there. Then you know, get your oil to temp. Menu. I'm still on the ramps. Vehicle, when your oil's to temp, go back from there. Service and checks. Oil level. And then, you know, check your oil level, like always. Hope that helps you.